You know, it's a funny old time and the funny old world that we now live in that every single day we get some sort of variable thrown at us, a curveball. So one of the most important things for us in business is while the consumer is having these curveballs thrown at them every day, for you, you should be calling, texting, emailing, but communicating with anybody you are meeting with to confirm that meeting is going ahead that day. That will save you time, that will save you energy, it will reduce your worry, and most importantly, it will allow you to plan your day. So, the message for JT in the Raw this week is that you confirm every appointment every day via call, text or email to make sure your meeting is on. Welcome to JT in the Raw, show 276, right to the thin on business. And after 33 years in business, I have just a few thins to chew, which is why every week I come to you live at this time. This week's show is inspired because I had a number of meetings this week where I failed to confirm that that call was gonna happen in advance. And it was like five or 10 minutes prior that the person I was meeting with canceled that meeting or rescheduled that meeting. The end result, my day was thrown into disarray. I was frustrated, I was cranky, and that didn't help making up for that time. Because of course, you know, you lock in a time for an appointment at three o'clock, that appointment calls and cancels at 10 to three, you're pissed off, you're cranky, you're frustrated, and you go, right, well, I'm gonna make the most of this three o'clock appointment that's now not coming. But because of your level of emotion, perhaps you don't make the most of that time. So here's my thought process. Is it because of the world that we live in now, your prospect, perhaps even your team member, perhaps a colleague that you're catching up with, whomever you are meeting with that day, anything can happen to them. These days they could be thrown into isolation, there could be a curveball in their office, and therefore they can't get to you. And potentially, you are the last person that they are thinking about. Particularly if they're thinking about going to the gym. It's the last visit on their level of priorities. And they're not thinking about you. It's not intentional. So please don't take it personally when people need to cancel your appointment or when they need to reschedule. Do not take it personally. It's just that that is the world that we now live in. There are variables. So to minimize, to minimize those issues, I would ask you that you would call you would text or you would email the person you are meeting with in advance. So the process that I tend to go through, depending who I'm meeting with. So perhaps um, like in my role in our netball club, if I've got a meeting with someone in the netball club, I will text them, text them uh, mm, about 24 hours, uh, 12 hours to 18 hours in advance. So I've got a three o'clock meeting, uh, like a 10.30 meeting today. I sent a text yesterday at five o'clock to say, are we still catching up tomorrow? Is that still good? From a business perspective, I usually drop an email to somebody and say, just confirming our Zoom call or, my, or I'm catching up with you. And I give that a 24 hour window, an email from a business perspective. Now, if I'm catching up with someone that I don't even know, and we often do that on a call or something like that, or it's a prospect, then I definitely do an email to start with, perhaps followed by a, a text if I need to, if I don't hear back from them via email. Now, what this does, it allows me to plan my day. From a selfish perspective, it allows me to plan my day when I get those confirmations. But I think it also shows the person that you are meeting with how important that meeting actually is to you and to them. 
By you taking the time to confirm that, it shows you care about their time, it shows you care about them, and you're not taking for granted that meeting. Too many people, too many people take advantage of having that, having that time locked in and just assuming that we're going to meet. Assuming that you're going to show up. No, don't assume. Take the time. Be professional and send that message, text, call or email. Now, I have to share with you, one of my clients years ago, um, he used to text his appointments for people that were coming to his, it happened to be a gym at the time, coming to his gym and they may never have been to his gym before. So he would text them a little uh, link to be able to show how to find his club. So he would say, just confirming we're catching up at three o'clock tomorrow. And by the way, here's a link to Google Maps to be able to find us. By doing that, he increased his show ratio in his appointments. Clever little strategy. But for us in business, and again, I guess I'm being selfish in a way, but I wanna plan my day. I wanna know what's coming up in the day. Now, the other advantage of confirming those appointments is really simple. If you confirm the appointment, do you can, if you confirm the appointment, then if something happens in their life, they will contact you and say, hey, I'm sorry, I know we confirmed, but I need to change it. They just don't show up, they call you and they contact you. If you don't confirm, often they don't show. So whether you're thinking this from a sales perspective, a service perspective, a prospect, prospecting perspective, I want you to consider calling, texting, or emailing people in order to confirm those appointments. And Amanda's saying we confirm over text and it gets a much higher response. Agreed, agreed. I think text is a great way to do it. But I think also, don't forget email, but I tell you what, don't forget about picking up the phone and calling people. The reason we don't call is we don't want to inconvenience or interrupt their day. I understand that. I get that. But it also shows that you care. Any way that you can show that you care above and beyond your competition or above and beyond anyone else in the department or the team or the organisation by you showing that staff member that you care by confirming that appointment, it separates you. So it's a pretty simple lesson that I'm sharing today, but I think it's a high impact lesson for us all in business. Confirm your appointments. That's all I'm saying. How you do it, up to you. But the benefits far outweigh the time that it takes to call, to email, or to text that person that's coming in to see you. So. If you got any value out of today's show, please hit the share button wherever it may be or tag anybody in the comments below. If you think the idea of confirming appointments may in fact help business or help the relationships that you're trying to build with your prospects or your team members or even your friends. So it doesn't matter what, whether it's business, whether it's sport, sporting teams, confirm your appointments, show your care, and I bet you'll be more productive every day when you know who's showing up and when they're showing up. Hey, hope you got value out of today's show. If you did, just hit me up with a love heart anytime, whether you're watching live or on replay. And I'll catch you on the flip side.